Before we start this video, I want to remind everyone that what I'm going to be talking about is very serious and can be very triggering. If you feel like it's too much to handle at any point in the video, please click off. Your mental health should be your priority. Also, if I sound a bit weird in this video, it's because I have a cold, so sorry. So sit back, relax, and please watch me ramble. In the first scene of this video, we see Blue call Lilac. She picks it up and he wonders where she is since she's late. He gets startled when he notices someone's behind him and he panics and thinks Lavender is spying on him again, but calms down when he sees it's Lilac. She introduces her daughter Magenta to him and for a second he feels… guilty? I think maybe he was a little mad at Lilac for bringing her daughter without notice, but feels guilty for feeling mad, so he quickly brushes it off and says he's cool with her coming along to their date. In the next scene, they get their food at the restaurant. While Blue gets his, Magenta is judging him while her mom fiddles with her purse. I think Lilac most likely paid for the meal, so Magenta tells her Blue is frugal and Lilac cautions her not to be rude. Blue wants to take a photo to remember their moment together, but Lilac freaks out and tells him no photos, which makes him feel like a bad person for messing things up. I also want you guys to know two things from just these scenes. Number one, green represents new beginnings and both the background and Blue's phone are green. I think it's meant to show that Blue wants to add Lilac as part of his new beginning by having a picture of her. And two, this side of Blue has rose-colored glasses, meaning he's trying really hard to have a positive view of everything. But whenever something goes wrong, his glasses or his optimistic view shatters and his glasses continue to crack as the video goes. In the next scene, Lilac tells Pink about how her ex would record them while they were intimate and he'd threatened to off himself if she tried to leave him. I'm not sure whether or not he threatens her with that when he's drunk or if he'd actually use a broken bottle and try to hurt himself with it to prove he'll seriously kill himself if she leaves. Pink tells her all men are evil and women should just support each other. We know Pink has this mindset because of the abuse she suffered at the hands of her husband. Blue overhears their conversation and Lilac continues to talk about her ex, about how he had a good boy facade when people were watching but in private he was extremely lustful. Blue fears that he's just like her ex since he also acts nice and is hypersexual. People gossip that Blue is crazy about you know what, and he's close to snapping but gets distracted by Lilac who asks him if he was in a relationship with Pink, but he lies to her. Notice how Lilac sees him as he normally is, but when Blue lies to her, he sees himself as bad because he feels guilty for lying. Lilac notices Blue staring at her at work and Pink notices too and gets jealous. Notice how her lip is now dark blue, and she tries to stop him from looking at Lilac who gets suspicious of Pink and Blue's relationship. This causes her to tell Blue she needs time to think about the relationship and it makes Blue feel like he's done something wrong. We get backflash scenes of when Lilac was still with her ex and Pink and Blue were in a healthy relationship. Lilac gets a call from her ex and tells him she's at work but he says something that triggers her and gets upset when she hangs up on him and both Pink and Blue notice her demeanor's changed and are worried about her. I don't think Lilac's ex was physically abusive but I think he's meant to represent emotional abusers who use threats, gaslighting, guilt tripping, constant monitoring, manipulation population, etc. to control their victims. I think what he told her that triggered her had to do with the videos he'd record of them in private. Maybe he wanted to tell her he liked a certain part of the video or he showed it to someone or something like that. But either way, I think it has to do with the videos he has of them because Lilac only looks that triggered when someone is taking a photo or video of her. The next image after that is Blue sending Lilac a message with a green background. So this means the next scene is after Lilac broke up with her ex and was getting closer to Blue who is her new beginning. The next scene was when Lavender had taken Blue for shopping and got Lilac to help them. Lavender gets a call but Lilac is paranoid it's from her ex. And in the next image we see the same green background with Lilac's kids, Magenta and her son, who appears to be disabled. Also, Vic hasn't named him yet so I'll call him Maroon, since a comment replied him with that suggestion and I think it's fitting since Maroon is a reddish brown color. So with the green background and her kids, I think this symbolizes Lilac is prioritizing her children more and no longer worrying about her ex who was draining all her energy. Anyway, something's wrong with Maroon, so Lilac is distracted with him and doesn't notice Purple's trying to talk to her, so Purple gets frustrated and takes it out on Blue. I also want you guys to notice that her infliction leaves a scar on him, because all abusers' actions leave scars on their victims whether physical or emotional, which we see in the What I Want Part 2 meme where Blue shows everyone his scars. The next image is a little confusing to me because I'm unsure of what new beginning this is meant to represent, because it shows Pink sending Blue a message, but maybe it's meant to show at that stage Pink started abusing Blue, but the next scene after that is Blue getting angry with people gossiping about
about how Blue was leading Red on. So he can have, you know what, with her. So maybe Pink had asked him about the rumors or something. I'm not sure. But I'm also starting to think that maybe it wasn't Pink that sent him a message but Lilac. Since we know while they were going on dates, that was the same time period where people were spreading rumors about Blue. After that, we see a guy give his partner flowers, which makes Lilac tell Blue she'd like him to give her flowers too. But Blue doesn't see the point of giving her flowers. Vic had mentioned that in this video, a flaw of Blue would be shown that isn't related to his trauma. And I was confused by this as all the flaws Blue's had in this video seemed related to his trauma. But this scene is the only one that doesn't to me. Vic mentioned that this flaw of his is something all his ex-girlfriends, including Pink, can confirm. So I think the flaw of Blue that's shown in this video is that he doesn't get romantic gestures. And he doesn't know how to give gifts or take care of his girlfriend and things like that. This is also cemented with how he let Lilac pay for everything for their date in the beginning of the video. Either that or maybe his flaw is that he's just broke. I could be wrong though but that's just my theory. While talking with Lilac on the phone, Blue fantasizes about her but gets mad at himself for thinking about her that way. In the next scene, we see he took a picture of Lilac while she was asleep and Lilac sees this and gets mad at him for doing that without her consent. This is just a little info I find interesting but it seems he took this picture after waking up in this video since the angles look similar. In that video, Blue looks really hurt. I guess maybe he feels like he'll lose her so I think he just wanted to have a piece of her to carry with him. But back to the video, Lilac is on the phone with maybe a friend telling them about her wishes of getting married and growing old with someone. In the next scene, we see Blue text Lilac when she'll be off work and if she's going to take care of Maroon after. This makes me think that maybe Lilac has half custody with Maroon or maybe he's always at the hospital but sometimes she has him with her or maybe he's not even her son but she takes care of him sometimes. We also see that Lilac has a photo of her and Ping as her profile picture so they're probably really close. Ping sees his text in Lilac and tries distracting him with work. We see an early message of Blue asking Lilac how she feels about him and Lilac tells him she still needs time. Blue texts her again a while later and says he's still waiting for her response. In another scene, we see Blue at Lilac's house. It's probably after the message he sent her before about if she's taking care of Maroon. Lilac wants to cuddle with him but Blue interprets that as her wanting you know what, since that's all his abusers have ever wanted from him. But he realizes that wasn't her intentions and feels like a bad person for thinking otherwise since the kid is in the same room as them. And one of his lenses completely shatters. He tries to hide his arousal with a pillow and texts Lilac that he's not interested in marriage or a relationship. He just wants you know what. So she tells him okay and that she'll try again, which probably means she'll see someone else. If you notice, Blue's horns go away when he sends her those messages. So I think he believes he's doing the right thing by ending their relationship. This was another really good video and had so much attention to detail. And I think it really shows the struggles that a lot of SA victims go through in navigating both romantic and sexual relationships. To be honest, I personally believe the only ship that's valid in this series is Blue X Therapy because I don't think he'll be able to maintain a healthy relationship until he gets help. Because you can't really love someone when you don't even love yourself. Also, I got a suggestion that I should make a video of Blue suing his abusers, but honestly, I'm not sure if I'll do it. Because watching more Blue story content and having to research some things has actually started to take a toll on me. Especially after watching the What I Want Part 2 video, it just felt painful having to see Blue show his scars and he's going to have to do that in a courtroom. It also makes me remember the court scene in a movie I watched two years or so ago called A Broken Man in English that also has to do with essay in men and I remember that scene was really brutal so it's just too much for me right now. And I already have a script but I don't think I highlighted enough of Blue's struggles in there so I don't want it to be like made it too easy that it would come off as delusional or maybe even insensitive so I'm not comfortable making that video. Maybe I will someday, but not right now. The thought of having to research even deeper into this to adjust the script makes me feel like I'll go insane. And it makes me respect Vic even more for making a series like this, where he has to understand not just the victim's point of view, but also the disgusting minds of each abuser. So I'm really sorry for not being able to make that video, and I can't really promise I'll make it in the future. But I still intend to make more theory videos, and I'm still going to make that fan animation I announced on my community post, plus some more. Though it may take some time because I'm kind of busy plus animation is something I don't fully comprehend yet. Thank you for staying this long. Please like and subscribe to become a Mipsy. It has been scientifically proven that when you become one, good things happen to you. Don't believe me? Try it right now.